Today, let me show you the most mind-boggling features of the S23 Ultra. Like with a long tap on the S Pen button, I can turn my phone into a secret voice recorder or a hidden camera. Fully control your phone with voice access. Like you can say apps, Samsung free. Scroll down. I will show you how to master S Pen. I mean, this should be the reason to go for the Samsung flagship and nothing else. Use the S Pen as a magic wand to control your phone remotely. Live translate any text on screen. 25 such exclusive S23 Ultra tips and tricks I will show you today. So, let me introduce myself. This is Shukesh, and you are watching Gadgets Portal. Let's start with voice access. Simply tap on this floating button, Play Store, Play Store has opened, go back, Apps, scroll right, Facebook, continue, use mobile data, update, now the word update appears in three places which are marked by 1, 2 and 3, 3. So whatever that is shown on the screen, the phone reads it and you need to simply utter the word. This is how you can control your smartphone without even touching it. You can say open camera, front camera, end voice access. To remove or bring the voice access button on the home screen, tap and hold the volume up and down keys simultaneously for 3 seconds. You can also tap and hold and move it around the screen. Before I tell you how to enable this, let me show you my next favorite feature called live caption. Let's take a video. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey guys, how are you doing? As you can see, live captions are generated from the video even when the phone is on silent mode. It is very very useful when you are outside, maybe you are watching a video or gaming and without disturbing others you can actually check the live captions even music laughter applause are also detected by the software press the volume key options that is the three little buttons there you have the live captions key which you can turn on or off have you noticed the little guy at the bottom right corner? It's the accessibility key. Uh, you can assign different functions like I have assigned live transcribes. So whatever I say will be shown on the screen. It can also hey detect different sounds. So today I have got my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Well, due to heavy noise in the area, it's not working perfectly. You can keep your transcription history from here. It's time to show you where I found these hidden features. Well, go to the accessibility settings, then interaction and dexterity, voice access. First of all, you can assign action for the voice access shortcut and uh, here are some examples. But uh, anytime you can say to the voice access, what can I say? There are so many things you can do with voice access like you can label different parts of the screen with numbers and letters for easy access. You can ask voice access to show all the commands or show tutorial on how to use the software. Let me go back to show you other features that I have activated. Visit hearing enhancement, then live caption. At the top, you will also find live transcribe. First, you can set the shortcut action for the live transcribe. I had assigned it to the accessibility button. I am back to the accessibility settings and there is another action that is side plus volume up key simultaneous press. So you can go for any of this like extra dim which is so useful when you are watching movies lights off because the lowest possible brightness is not enough. You can also amplify ambient sound, you know, use magnifier, invert colors. Very useful when you are reading text with white background, invert color will get you black background with white text. 
Before I show you the amazing S Pen features, here are some quick tips you can use. Flash notifications that is use the camera flash and also the screen to flash when you get important notifications from important softwares so that you don't miss your important emails or your WhatsApp messages. Very useful in silent mode or if you have hearing issues. Now Samsung has not enabled this feature by default that is by swiping down from the either corners at the top you can convert any app window into a pop up window and you can further convert it into a small icon. This is how you can minimize your chat window when you are gaming or watching movies or you can minimize the calculator when needed simply click on the icon and the pop-up window will open. You can either go full screen or open in split screen view. That is, uh, you can open two apps simultaneously on the screen, splitting it into two. A great way to multitask, for example, if you want to take notes while you are reading something or maybe on a Zoom call, Samsung is giving you the option to enable split screen view for all the softwares you also get this gesture swipe up from the recents and the back case. So enjoy a movie while you are texting and with the help of Samsung Note and your S Pen taking notes of your online classes is very very easy. Just for your information split screen or pop up view can be accessed from the recents button as well. From the settings menu find advanced features, labs. From here you can enable the swipe gestures. As I mentioned before Samsung is giving you the option to enable multi window for all the applications. Your Galaxy S23 Ultra doubles as the Galaxy Note so you get this amazing S Pen which can do wonders. For example when you hover your S Pen over any text input field the phone automatically switches to handwriting mode and the handwriting will be converted into text so that you don't have to put down your S Pen. You can even edit the text like you can strike through to delete, you can you know separate two words or two letters. With the same gesture you can also concatenate two words or letters that is delete the space in between. You can insert a new letter in between different words or letters just like that. You can delete space uh, by this gesture as well. So once you get used to this, it's quite fun to use the S Pen for writing. Now let me show you ear actions by tapping and holding the S Pen button and doing some gestures on the ear. You can access different features like this is how I can get the recents. With a gesture like this, I can go back to home. With a zigzag air action like this, I have assigned Gmail to open. So these are customizable. I will show you in a minute how to do that. Now here in the gallery with the air view that is by hovering the S Pen over the albums you can actually sneak peek into the content. On the browser you can scroll down, scroll up and do air actions like flick the S Pen upwards or downwards for scrolling up and down. Go back as I showed you before and with a gesture like this you can refresh the page. On the browser S Pen works like the mouse pointer on your desktop. You can even hover over links to get a preview. So before opening any link you got through messages or WhatsApp check a preview. On the gallery also with a single tap you can go next or with a double tap you can go to the previous images. On the camera also it works perfectly like with a single tap you can take images with a double tap you can flip the cameras. In fact in the export mode you can zoom in and zoom out. I will show you how to set up all these features. Let me talk about your command. There is this floating icon that you can tap for the air command or just hover your S Pen over the screen and simply tap the S Pen button for air command to appear wherever you are on the phone. When the phone is locked and the screen is off with the same gesture you get screen off memo that is you can take a quick note and save it without even unlocking your phone. You can turn it on by default when you remove the S Pen from the slot. 
and of course with a single tap you can unlock your phone bypassing the lock screen. So you can basically access your phone without even touching it when it's on the dock or maybe on a stand. Very useful when you are browsing and tapping and holding the S Pen button will open any of the pre-assigned apps like Secret Voice Recorder, Secret Camera that I have shown you before and if you quickly double tap on the screen while tapping and holding the S Pen button you can also open S Note that is the note taking application for quickly taking a note just like the way you did when the screen was off. Let's get back to the ear command. The most interesting feature is translate that is you can hover over any word that is showing on the screen and translate it to any other language that you pre-selected and you can even play back the words. So useful for browsing for book reading you can change the source and the destination language most of the prime languages are supported. Another cool feature on the air command is Smart Select, a very capable selection tool. You get square, free and circle selection tool. Let me, you know, select this Play Store icon. There is this magnetic selection tool kind of feature so I can extract the play button. So this is how you can snip objects or people from images from web content. You can even extract text. All these magical S Pen features can be found under Advanced Features S Pen. So browse through all these options and customize as you wish. This is their action option. So I had assigned voice recorder for the tap and hold S Pen button feature. You can select from any of these. You can select camera for the remote camera access which is so cool guys. I had also shown you the air gestures which are fully customizable so you can open any app or any of these S Pen features. So once you get used to this, even if you remember some of the gestures I am showing you, your Samsung device will get so much more interesting and useful making your life smarter and easier. You get the list of app actions you can do on different apps. Before I go, I want to show you one of my favorite features. Go to your home screen settings. There you will have this option to hide applications. For example, I am hiding this game called Asphalt 9. So there is no trace of this game on the apps drawer or also on the home screen. But if I search for this app, see what happens. I can open the app info and if you check at the bottom, you get the option to open the application. So this is how you can hide your sensitive apps or maybe games from your gaming freak friends. They will have no idea you have this software. Very useful for chatting apps or maybe for apps like Tinder. So guys, this is the end of part 1. Check the description for the part 2 and 3.